Hello everyone, how's it going? Um, I'm doing pretty well. It is a Friday for me. I have a three-day weekend, which is amazing. I am so happy. I could not come to you this weekend, but, excuse me, I had this night free that I could do it, which I'm very happy. Um, so where we left off, we actually um, have gone through the battle arena three times. Now, this is the time. What's up, Cry? Thanks for stopping in. Um, this should be the time that the Frontier Brain should arrive. Um, and I'm very excited about that. However, sometimes you can get some tough luck. You can get some bad matchups that make it difficult to win. Um, on this fourth time through, the teams are a lot better. So... I am cautiously optimistic um, that we can maybe get our third Frontier symbol tonight, which would be just wonderful and way quicker than I thought, but uh, let's keep going with it. Where the battling spirit of trainers is put to the test. Um, okay, so obviously we're doing the challenge here. Um, <laughs> what's up, Brady? Uh, Brody? Um... Oh yeah, we got that Lugia bursting through the waterfall there. Okay. Um, obviously we're going Harry Jr., Stevie, and Arrow. Um, yes. Um, the Frontier Brain has a very interesting team. I actually like their team a lot. Um, we'll find out what it is later. I do have one matchup that I wanted to uh, have at the very beginning, but... I'm probably going to have to go with something just a little less favorable. We'll see. The party of one is you, and I appreciate it. All right. Also, just love the little bonsai tree there in the corner. <laughs> just a super little pixelated little guy. That's so delightful. Uh, your battle shall be waged in the next room. Okay. All right. There we go. Trainer Kelsey. I haven't slept in days. I'm so sorry, Kelsey. Um, all right, but hopefully you don't give us trouble. Um, so this is battle one of our fourth time through the battle arena here. Um, and again, love starting with Harry Jr. Is the Harry Jr. is the coverage extraordinaire. Um, we actually have three super effective moves against a goal bat, so I'm feeling pretty solid. Ooh, that is a clean one-shot. Love that. All right. Ah, Giraffe Rig. Very interesting. I don't have any super effective moves here, but we can go with the Surf. I'm pretty sure so far the only Pokemon to have outsped Starmie has been Jumpluff, and this Giraffe Rig now might with an agility. Yes, it does. Ah, crunch. That'll hurt. That'll hurt. Alright, but not too bad. Still get a two-shot here. Lovely. Alright. Absol. Gosh, I love Absol. So Starmie's definitely gonna go down here, unless Absol does some stupid stuff. Oh, wow! A, a clean one-shot. That was amazing. That's not even super effective. Lovely. Watcha! All right. Let's do it. Trainer Damien. My pure power is machine-like. He might have a Pokemon with pure power. Actually, I don't know if that's an ability yet. Hmm. A Dragon Tamer. Haha. <laughs> um, I love in Pokemon how they have kind of like these honorary dragon Pokemon, like they're not dragons. Like it all started in Generation 1 with Lance, because he has a Gyarados and an Aerodactyl. They're not technically dragon type Pokemon, but they are dragons. Lapras is kind of another one of those like honorary dragon Pokemon, because it's kind of like dinosaur-like. It's just really cool. Love Lapras. Anyway, eat a Thunderbolt. That should be a two-shot. Oh, easy peasy. 
Love that. Ah. With a berry or a leftovers, it might not be a two-shot anymore. We'll see, though. It'll be close. Not quite. It holds on. Still going to lose, but it's definitely going to take another chunk out of Starmie here. Oh, Rhydon? Ugh. I feel bad for Rhydon. <laughs> I just have a lot to say about the, these teams. Rhydon is such a cool Pokemon. I love it. But every single one I've ever gone up against, I just destroy in one hit, even though this one's faster. It must have, like, a choice uh, scarf, I think. Um, so I spoke too soon. Yeah, in this case, I might be in trouble. <laughs> wow. You might have caught me, Rhydon. I am going to use Brick Break, because I'm afraid me or Mash might miss. That must have been a Quick Claw. That's crazy. Wow, because that was an easy one-shot. Um, okay, Stevie holds on, which rocks. Oh my gosh. It pops again. That's, cr that's crazy. Um... Luckily, Arrow is going to drop its uh, attack, and I can use Earthquake. And you see, guys, this is one of those instances where we just ran into a, some bad luck with a Quick Claw Rhydon KOing two of our Pokemon when it had no business doing so. Um, and now we're facing Arcanine, which we should be good against. We'll see what this Body Slam does. Okay. Um, arrow for the W, for real. Um, Earthquake should be close. Oh, love to see a one-shot there. And no Paralysis. We got some good luck in return. And that's the stuff you can run into. So that first battle was pretty uneventful, but that one was... Tougher than it needed to be. My goodness. All right. <laughs> yes. Arcanine is great, but hey, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. Ooh, Ariados. I love Ariados. Uh, if our friend Tech was here, I know he loves spiders. Um, let's see. Spider-Man, exactly. Ariados, unfortunately for him, is not very good. Ah, uh, Parasect. Not my favorite matchup here. We do still have one super effective move, an Ice Beam. But we definitely don't want to catch a Spore here if we can help it. Oh, perfect! Lovely. But yeah, he was a true Bug Maniac. He had three... Three bug types. Excuse me. But unfortunately for him, two were poison. Yeah, and again, that guy we fought right before this was way better than that guy. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. A uh, Weeping Bell, I'll take that all day long. A second form. Um, but how was everybody's day today? Mine was really good. I, um, it was Friday, which was great. Like I said, we have a three-day weekend. Um, it was really, really hot. Um, and it still is right now. Love that Sprite of Haunter. Look at that. That's incredible! That is a beautiful piece of art. My goodness, menacing, cool. The colors, the red outlines on the hands, just... Bravo. Bravo. Anyway. Uh, yeah, we had to go outside at the end of the day. There was like a special event for the kids, like right before the three-day weekend. Um, and it wasn't very long, which was good, but... Uh, we, everybody got a popsicle, which was nice. Um, 
Oh, did I know Haunter is like 15 feet tall? That is interesting. I think I actually have seen where Haunter is like way bigger than one would think. Um, let's see. Okay, Crawdont holds on. This battle has been... Okay, I was about to say guillotine. My goodness. This battle's been a bit of a snooze fest. But that's okay. Um, but yeah, it was a good day. Good solid day. Um, some of the kid, one of the kids I work with, he had a, he had an above average day, I would say, which was good. Um, ah, Mr. Cap Crab's my boy. I prefer Kingler of the two, of the two famous Crab Hammer Pokemon. But I like Crawdon. Crawdon's still cool. Nothing bad to say about it. Um, do 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 ba ba da da da. Yeah, we have a few fun things planned for our three-day weekend. I am stoked out of my mind about it, um, which will be great. Um, I would love to see maybe a paralysis here, because that won't one-shot. Oh, it will! Gosh, Harry. You're too good, Harry. You're too good. Ah, Electrode. Not my best matchup. Okay, we still outspeed though, which is good. Um, very well could just explode. Oh no, just regular old Thunderbolt. We might not be able to take this though. We'll see. Nah, not quite. That's all right. That'll happen every now and then. Um, here, I'm just gonna go with a good old Shadow Ball. Ah, protect. Luckily, if this Electro does explode, uh, Metagross is going to eat that pretty nicely. There we go. Even if we did not KO him there, I was pretty, very confident we would win the, win the, what you call it, the thing, <laughs> the thing. Lovely, that's a very clean two-shot. Exploud is an interesting Pokemon. I don't really like its design. It learns a lot of different moves. Um, it's very versatile. Like, I think it can learn, like, Thunderbolt and Ice Beam and Flamethrower and all those things. Um, but it's just a regular old normal type. And as you can see, it goes down. It goes down without too much of a fuss. There we go. I believe that was fight number five. Excuse me. So yes, fight number six. So, if we win this, the next one should be the Frontier Brain. So, knocking on wood, we really don't want to lose now. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's true, Brody. You are my 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 big first of everything. All right, let's see here. All right, Pokemon Ranger. Slacking. That is not my favorite thing to see first first right off the bat. Um, it could skill swap us, which would be terrible. I would love a King's Rock flinch. That would be clutch right here. All right, Swagger. Very good move by him because I do not use any of my physical attacks. So that was pretty much just a free confusion. Oh, my first follower, Brody. Oh, my goodness. I don't really know. Um, I would have to think about that. Uh, don't hit. Okay, and it did. So, yeah, slacking is going to loaf around there. If I hit myself again, all right. We'll see what it does. All right, this will be this will be pretty close. Um, we'll see what happens. Mind, I take it. Skill even. All right, body, yes, excellent. Very, very good. I do hope that I can snap out of confusion next turn, though. Shuckle I don't hate. Um, if I can snap out of this and just hit it with a Surf. I'm still confused. All right, lovely. It was probably Tech. You're probably right, Brody. Even though I haven't seen Tech in a while, I think he probably just got busy. 
Oh, just a regular old defense curl. Is he about to do the old defense curl rollout on me? Still confused. I hate that. Yeah, I was about to say. Luck can't hold on forever. Oh, rest. All right. So I... Ooh, we've probably got a Chesto Berry here. Yep. My guess is I'm going to see Protect. Oh, no, I don't. That's great. Um, so now Starmie at least has a chance. At least has a chance. Okay. This is pretty even. I could see maybe a draw. Let's see. Okay. Oh, great. 6-0! Oh, okay, awesome. I was completely wrong in the best way. <laughs> Starmie is hanging on, baby. Oh, love Ursa Ring. Such a great Pokemon. A really interesting squad. Slacking, Shuckle, Ursa Ring. But yeah. One little crunch will do the trick on Starmie, that's for sure. Um, I think we've only seen Salamence once in this whole Battle Arena run so far. Um, yeah, Outspeed, Brick Break should do the trick. Okay. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, this next battle should be the Frontier Brain. Okay, your Pokemon will be restored. Okay. My dear challenger! Oh, I love it. Your skill level is truly astounding. We now would like you to face our leader, the Arena Tycoon. A battle with the Arena Tycoon. Are you prepared? I absolutely am. Let's do it, man. Oh, and then here she is, Greta. Very, very cool. Wait, are you the challenger? <laughs> she looks around. Is that right? Oh, come on, man. I don't know how to say it, but to put it bluntly, you look pretty weak. So Greta uh, has some hubris, you might say. Um, yeah, I am sure, Greta. All right. Let's see if we can do it. Set KO tourney. Begin! Anyway, uh, I had to take a little dance break. Um, oh yes, that special crunch in Generation 3. So she starts with a Heracross, um, which, sick Pokemon, Generation 2, obviously. Um, I really wanted to have Salamence lead um, to use Aerial Ace on this Heracross, but um, I wanted to save Salamence for something later. Um, <laughs> yes. Alright, but Psychic is still a pretty good matchup. If we do catch, like, a Mega Horn or something here, we'll be in trouble, but we'll see what happens. Um, oh, we got a special drop. Don't hate that. Metagross could maybe clean up. Yeah, here's that Mega Horn. This will probably one-shot. That's okay. That's okay. Um, Starmie definitely did enough there. Um... I don't know who's going to outspeed, though. Okay, <laughs> Heracross probably will <laughs> now. Um, okay, one more Psychic will do the trick. I don't really know what it's got for Metagross. Oh, Reversal. That'll do more damage based on its HP. Okay, uh, but we still hold on. That's great. We're doing okay. I don't love where we're at. Um... We got one HP out of that Shell Bell. Hopefully it makes a difference. Her second Pokemon, Umbreon. Um, very interesting Pokemon, very defensive. I wanted to have Metagross second so we could hit with a Brick Break um, for that super effective. Um, okay, it does probably, probably a three hit KO here. Um, Umbreon's whole thing is it's kind of HP and defenses. I don't think it's gonna be able to do too much to Metagross, we'll see. Um, that honestly did more than I would have thought. 
Um, but if we can... Okay, we can outspeed again. This won't knock it out. But even if Umbreon knocks us out here, we should be in pretty good shape. Um, because Salamence should be able to pretty easily clean up. Um, let's see. It might be wraps for CV. Let's see. Not quite! Stevie holds on! Stevie holds on. Um, incredible. And the fact that he outspeeds the Umbreon is really, really good. I love that. And now, you will see, uh, once we get our little bit of HP from the Shell Bell, you will see why I was so shocked to see a Shedinja so early. Because she has a Shedinja. And it's like one of the main things of her team is that she hopes she can really catch you off guard with that Wonder Guard ability. Luckily, I have Shadow Ball here that can easily dispatch of it, and that is also why I kept Salamence in the back, because it has a super effective move against Shedinja as well, and I knew that she'll have it out last. And uh, with that, we are Battle Arena Champions, once Stevie catches that little bit of HP. Yeah. Yeah, Greta. You were a little bit overconfident. But, uh, we bested you. The winner is SCG. That is correct. Ow, wait a second. You are tough after all. That's right. Let's see your Frontier Pass. The gut symbol, come on, was embossed on the Frontier Pass. Excellent. Um, that was awesome. That was really great. All right, please accept these battle points. Hooray. I would say this was probably the hardest. Um, we had a pretty easy time with Lucy. Um, Nolan, if we did not have the greatest Grumpig of all time, would have been tougher. Uh, what do you think? Do we want to record this on our Frontier Pass or do we want to keep the Battle Factory one? It's, it's, it's kind of tough for me. I don't know if, I don't know which one I want to keep. Um, you want to keep the Battle Factory one, Brody? Is that what you're saying? Um, okay. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Excuse me. All right. So, with our amazing, wonderful victory, we now have three symbols. Three the Knowledge Symbol from the Battle Factory, the Luck Symbol from the Battle Pike, and now the Guts Symbol from the Battle Arena. And 47 battle points. We got a, we got a good little collection going there. Um, I'm probably going to use all of it on Poke Dolls, <laughs> which is great. Um, let's see. In Battle Record, this is where we can see our battle with Nolan. So now I'm not exactly sure where to go next. Um, the ones that we have left, we have the Battle Tower, the classic Battle Tower, the Battle Dome there in the Northwest, the Battle Palace, which we are very near, um, and then the Battle Pyramid in the Northeast part of the island. The Battle Pyramid is one of my least favorite ones. I think it's one of the tougher ones. Um, my instinct is to go to the Palace right now. Um, but, uh, maybe I actually will head north for a second. Maybe we can kind of break these up like I did the pike in the factory. Because here's the battle tower. It's completely enormous. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, if we head... Okay, no, that's where you can learn some moves. With your battle points, which we don't want to do quite yet. Um... All right, sorry. Barely know where I'm going here. All right, if we head up here, I think I think this might be it. Oh no, it's not. What does this say? It's now. It's time for the name raider show. Okay. Ah, the nickname Harry Junior of SCG's Pokemon Star. You. Oh yeah, because I remember we named uh, him Harry Junior after. Um, we had caught, we had got him, because we had no idea if he was going to be our permanent star you or not. 
but somewhere up here, this might be it. Yeah, this is Scott's little, I mean, closet. There is a chair and a plant and Scott. There is nothing else in this little house. I'm um, sorry about the cramped space. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's Scott's little house. He's the head honcho of this battle frontier, but he lives in a shack. On reflection, it was a terribly long journey. Oh. So awesome. Oh, thanks for the two free battle points, Scott. That's cute. That's really awesome. He is a minimalist. I guess you're right. I guess he is only keeping what's sparking joy. So I can't fault him for that. Um, so what do we think? Well, where do you guys want me to challenge next? I'm like, we've got the tower, the dome, the pyramid, and the palace. What do you think? I'll ask you, because I have no idea. And I'm having a hard time making a decision. Making a decision. I am excited to show off what more is in store here. Um, dang. Um, okay, I'm looking at this, and it looks like it's going to take a long time to get to the top of the battle tower. Um, okay, you picked dome. Okay, great. We're doing dome then. Um, so, battle dome. I about to say. Oh, baby. This is like some stadium walk-up music here. It's incredible. Um, okay. Where the strategies of trainers are put to the test. Welcome to the Battle Dome. I'm your guide to the single battle tournament. So the Battle Dome is interesting in that it is in a tournament format. It's really, really fun. And you will see when we challenge our first person. Um, I will actually wait to tell you about that. Let me see what I want here, though. Um, okay, I guess the order doesn't matter so much. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just keep it the same order that we had. Yes, okay. All right, I'll show you to the Battle Dome. Oh, so cool. All right, so we are going to kind of like the green room before our big before our big battle. And like I said, the battle dome is in a tournament. So if you look here, you can look at the tournament tree, and we are up there in the top left, and there's a big bracket, and we can look at our first opponent. And what we're going to see here is that it gives us a little rundown on their team. It has startling and disruptive moves, emphasizes HP and attack. And as you can see, it uh, she has a Ghastly, Bagon, and Mankey. Now, she's only going to use two of these Pokemon in this battle. So we have to strategically pick two of our Pokemon uh, to try to be as prepared as possible for what she might pick. It's really great. I actually really like the battle dome. Um, so let's see. Yes, I'm ready to start. Um, I actually wasn't paying that much attention, but it's okay, because we are going to mop the floor with this woman. I'm pretty sure Starmie has a super effective move against everything. And as you can see here, our first round match is not very well attended. But once you get to the finals, these uh, stands like really fill up, and it's like a packed stadium. It's super great. All right. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Harry's got super effective moves against all three of these Pokemon. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. <laughs> 
Should still be fine. Not too fussed. We outspeed anyway. And yes, there's that ghastly. We can hit with a psychic. Nightshade's not great, but psychic will knock it out for sure. Now, the frontier brain of this place is one of my personal favorites. I actually love the designs of most of the frontier brains. I think they're really awesome. Um, there's only like one or two that I don't like. Um, like one and a half. Um, like Greta's fine. Like I like Greta. Uh, excuse me. But like so far, Nolan is sick. Lucy is iconic. Um, and this one might be my personal favorite. All right, Rhyhorn Kabuto Clam Pearl. Um, skilled at enfeebling foes. Very interesting. Um, yes. We're gonna go roll with Starmie and Metagross here. All right, she she brought her little Kabuto. Kabuto is such a cool little guy. Ah, I'm gonna try to protect. Also, we've done so much of the battle arena that I am really like, oh, well, I have to beat my opponent quickly because I only have three turns. But now we're just back to normal battling, baby. All right. So, yeah, and these are a little different because when you go through the battle uh, dome... You only have to win one, two, three, four matches to win, essentially. So it's way less than the usual seven. Um, and that said, you have to go like more times through. Um, yeah, Starmie is going to be a, just a complete destruction fest against this guy with all of his rock types. We'll do Arrow. It's so interesting because... I feel like you're really just watching me fight with a really strong Starmie and almost nothing else. <laughs> um, it's really like, if they get past our like super coverage Starmie, we have Metagross and Salamence as like, reserves, you know? Alright, uh, yeah, part rock, surf, easy peasy. And then another Rhyhorn will catch another Surf and immediately die. What do you know? Sorry, Hiker Rich. All right. So we are going to fight Glenn in the final. Let's see what Glenn's deal is. Uh, a Machop, a Shelter, and a Remorade. A team looking for its first win. Interesting. This is literally the finals. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh, nope. Didn't mean to do that. Um, and especially considering the fact that, once again, Starmie will annihilate him. But if you look out here, our first match was sparsely attended. Here, it is a full house. We got people standing on the stairs, man. Standing room only. So cool. Those, I say it all the time, those are the little details that can really help make something, even in just like a pixel artwork game like this. It's wonderful. Okay. Um, Psychic, obviously. Um, very interesting. Remoraid was kind of designed to look like a little gun, and Octillery is kind of like a tank. Um, in their original beta designs, it was like a lot more obvious, 
Um, and like when you look at it here, like it's definitely kind of has like a gun shape, and it learns like a lot of beam moves, like ice beam and aurora beam and uh, bubble beam. Um, but you know, they kind of toned it down <laughs> a little bit, so it wasn't so uh, weapon-like. But yeah, school kid Glenn looking for his first win somehow in the finals. Must have rich parents. Mm. The confetti comes down. We are champions. All right. Yep, just one battle point. It's pretty quick, um, the battle dome. All right. I definitely don't want to record that on my Frontier Pass. All right. Um, I am actually going to pop out. I want to show you all the battle tower as well, mostly because I couldn't really decide which one I was going to do. So we might go back and forth a little bit, at least for today. And here's the battle tower. Um, the battle tower is super straightforward. You just got to win seven matches each time, and there is nothing fancy about it. You just, you just fight seven matches. Um, hold on, I do want to see something here. Um, one moment. Please hold. Um, okay, for that... I'm actually going to start with Stevie. Yeah, we'll go with that for now. I would like to save my game, thank you. Okay. So yeah, the Battle Tower is really no frills because it was really like the first battle facility really ever created. It was uh, first introduced in Pokemon Crystal. And now you just go through seven floors and try to win seven battles and that's one time through. Um, and I think we have to go through four or five times to make it to the Frontier Brain. So it's a, a bit more time... Uh, uh, time consuming, but we're here, baby. And this is a little more interesting because Starmie was, like I said, the coverage machine. machine. Um, but I just wanted to start with Stevie this time through, pretty much just for the gigs. Surskit. Oh, such a little, such a little nugget. Very cute Pokemon. It's interesting because I really wanted to keep Meteor Mash on Stevie. The only issue is it might be a little inaccurate. Oh, it's got such a great animation in this game. And it will completely annihilate a Delibird. Um, so great. It is very powerful, but again, inaccurate. I think it's only got 85 accuracy. So that's why you'll see me use Shadow Ball and Brick Break a lot more. All right, opponent number two, let's do it. There is none better than me. Still got Psychic, baby. Love that. Yeah, our Metagross isn't a special attacker, but I did keep one special attack. Um, I'm still on the fence if I'm going to keep it or not, because, you know, we obviously have Starmie that has Psychic. Um, so... We're not in trouble of not having a Psychic user. I just really can't decide what I want that other move to be. Um, it could probably... I know it can learn Sludge Bomb. I was considering that. Um, I know it can learn Hyper Beam, can Metagross, and that could be like a nice kind of more, you know, break, and, break glass in case of emergency type move for Metagross. Um... But I'm not usually a huge fan of those types of moves. Um, I don't know if Metagross can learn Rock Slide. I'd have to look again. Um, unfortunately, C Dot is not fighting type yet, but we're a-okay. Not fighting type, dark type. Mm. Alrighty. Uh, yes, that was battle three. We're on to opponent number four. Number four. Did anyone ever watch 
code name Kids Next Door. I feel like I've been kind of talking about uh, my childhood cartoons a lot lately. Um, code name Kids Next Door was a big one. Um, oh, agility. I thought I just got hit with a counter or something. Oh, flame wheel. That's not going to feel good. And I do also forget that we can switch and that we're not in the arena anymore. Um, but yeah, Codename Kids Next Door. That was a really good Cartoon Network show. I actually really enjoyed that one. Um, but yeah, for me, I've already talked about the GOAT Cartoon Network shows are Teen Titans and Samurai Jack. At least for me. You know, also love Dexter's Lab and the Powerpuff Girls, also perfect and iconic in their time. Um, oh, and Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. That's my favorite. That's my favorite non-Samurai Jack or uh, Teen Titans Cartoon Network show was Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Freaking love that show. All right, so Love Disc has decided to make this annoying with some rain and a dive. Okay, we good now. Um... Ed, Ed, and Eddie, so stupid <laughs> and so great. Um, loved it a lot. Um, they actually made a TV movie for Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And I'll tell this whole story because it's, like, it's, it's the first scene of the movie. So I don't feel like I'm really giving anything away. And the whole premise of the show Ed, Ed, and Eddie is that it's these three friends and they're all kind of like losers and nobody likes them and they're always trying to scam the neighborhood kids out of their money so they can buy jawbreakers. That's the show. And this TV movie kind of like ended the series. And the way the TV movie opens is just like no music, like harrowing shots of carnage, like twisted metal, uh, terrible destruction of property, like something terrible happened here, and we don't know what it is. All we see is next after that, all of the Ed, Ed, and Eddies, they are just packing their bags. They're just like, we've gone too far this time, boys. All the neighborhood kids are going to kill us. And they are trying to kill them and literally trying to hunt them down. So the Eds are on the run from the neighborhood kids. And it is so great. It's such a great setup. I think about that all the time. <laughs> it's so good. Um, I think it's so funny and so, like, uh, what's the word? Unexpectedly genius, I feel. It's really, really great. So I highly recommend that, especially if you love the show Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Because it, like, ends the series, like I said. There we go. Got some normal types, quite a few in a row, just smoking them with Brick Break. Da, da, ba, da, 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 da. Dark type, same thing. Different type, same weakness, baby. And then finally, Remoraid. Your Protect will not save you, homie can for a couple turns. It was faster the whole time. How about that? Boom. There we go. I believe that was our sixth battle. Um, yes, opponent number seven. Let's see what you got, old man. Every battle has a smell. That's interesting. I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Evan. I don't know. So it looks like this guy's got a little more going on. Um, I actually just really enjoy opening with Starmie. Um, there we go. Let's see, that'll lower... Oh, it actually does not lower my speed because of our clear body ability. Love that, Metagross. Um, that's the other thing about our team. Not only are they great Pokemon with great moves and great stats. Excuse me. Every member of our team has a great ability. Um, 
Because Starmie has Natural Cure. If we swap out Starmie, it can heal a status. Um, Metagross has Clear Body, where it cannot have its stats lowered, which is incredible. Um, and then we have Salamence with Intimidate. Really, really good ability. So we sit pretty here, boys and girls. We don't do great against Electric-type Pokemon. Okay, speed, that's fine. You were already faster, my friend. And then, finally, good old Furret. Another Gen 2 favorite of mine. Let's see. Should be a clean two shot with Brick Break. Slam is very inaccurate. All right. Perfecto. Fur, it's great. I, you guys know me by now. Any generation two, I'm in. I'm in, baby. I'm all the way in. <laughs> the awful stench of a loss. So yeah, that's the battle tower. Very little frills there. Um, very straightforward. And that's why it's probably my least favorite. I, you know, I kind of like the novelty, <laughs> the smell of a victory. That's right. Um, <laughs> that's perfect. Um, oh, is this Gabby standing in the front of the battle tower? Ah, uh, sure. I'll give you a little interview. I did not know that she was here. I was satisfied with the battle. Great. Okay, perfect. So obviously, you've had a great battle. Oh, I might I ask one more question? If you were to describe your impressions about this battle with one saying, what would it be? Okay, this is more what I'm used to seeing. Um, how about endings? What do we have? Oh. This is just regular old words. What about feelings? Oh, adore. I adored it. I adored it, Gabby. How about that? I did not know that she was here in the battle tower. That's really cool. Really nice little detail. Um, all right, gang. We don't have a ton more time. I'm thinking we can go through the dome one more time. Let's go for it. Go back and forth between the dome and the tower, baby. Mmm. I can't get enough of that. That's so good. Um, okay. Welcome to the battle dome. I absolutely would like to challenge it. Thank you. Um, yes, order doesn't matter as much here. Yes, it is. All right. So now I want to make sure I write this down. Um, so through the tower we've gone once. Through the dome this will be this will be two. Um, all right. So I don't need to look at the bracket. Um, all right. So as you can see, this guy's a lot better. Um, uses startling and disruptive moves. All right. Kecleon, Laron, Gliger. This is still going to be a really good Starmie match. Um, and then I'll have the arrow to back it up. I feel like we've really seen a lot of rock types in the dome today. Perfect, though. Gliger, easy peasy. Gliger was the first ground and flying type, which is so delightfully oxymoronic. And it dies to a surf. All right, and then we have Kecleon. And here we can manipulate its ability. We can hit it with a surf to make it water type and then a thunderbolt to finish it off. So yes, this color change will make it the water type. Oh yeah, I've seen another one that knew Seismic Toss here. Um, and as you can see, now that it's water type, we can hit it with a super effective Thunderbolt that should finish it off. Boom, baby. And there you have it. 
Hitomi. I feel like I've seen that name before. Yeah, they kind of have to cycle through some of these names, I guess, if you do enough battles here. Alright. Excuse me. Let's see. We've got Jordan. Jordan in the next round. Giraffe Rig Jumpluff Hitmontop. That is pretty good. Um, here, I'm actually going to start with um, Arrow. Yes, and I like Harry Jr. to back him up. Can anyone hope to beat this trainer? I sure hope so. Or I sure hope not, rather. <laughs> Let's see what you start with. Okay, Hitmontop. I like that. Um, ooh, even though Hitmontop does have Intimidate, I think. Or maybe it gets that later. Yes, it does. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the Dragon Dance. Quick attack. It's fine. That is perfectly fine. We're going to get that attack back that we lost and gain some speed. Quick attack, that's still going to outspeed because it is a priority move. And yes, Giraffe Rig here. So we should be able to do some good damage with Earthquake. Ah, wish. That is A-OK -okay by me. Wonderful. Gosh, this music is just sending me, gang. All right. Yasmin, I was hoping we would fight Shizuka. Um, which, if I'm not mistaken, that means quiet in Japanese. Um, let's see, Combuskin Mantine Swellow. That is gonna be perfect for Starmie. Even though, I still cannot get over the fact that we were able to defeat, or we were able to fight a Mantine that took a Thunderbolt. It is four times super effective, the Thunderbolt. That was incredible. Um. Alrighty. What you got, Yasmin? Swallow, easy peasy. I get the feeling that we're probably going to see a Swellow with Endeavor here in the Battle Frontier, which we don't love to see. Because, um, like, for example, if this Swellow lives on 1 HP and then uses Endeavor, it would take us all the way down to the red. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> I cannot believe it literally lived on 1 HP. That was insane. Um, <laughs> that would have been crazy. Because Endeavor couldn't have killed us there, but it could have taken us all the way down to 1 HP. Ah, yes. A good old Thunderbolt should do the trick. We'll see. No, it still holds on. That's crazy to me. All right, Icy Wind. That's not great. Um, because if Arrow has to come in... Um, that's going to be quad effective on him, but we should still be fine. And we're still faster anyway. So yes. We doing fine. We doing fine, gang. Alright. Enough about her. I'm the winner, of course. You love to see it. Okay. So now our final is against Amelia. All right, let's see what Amelia is all about. Yes. Primate Pidgeot Matang. I like Starmie here, definitely. Um, an arrow to back it up, 100%. That is a no-brainer. Perfect. 
I am nervous for when we fight the Frontier Brain of the Battle Dome because they have one Pokemon that we don't really have coverage for, specifically because it only really has one weakness. Now, we should be okay against it, kind of, for the most part, but I'm a little worried about it. Just a little bit. All right, Pidgeot, no big deal. NBD. I'm gonna use Ice Beam, just for the gigs. I never use Ice Beam, I always use Thunderbolt. Mostly because I think Thunderbolt has a little bit of a better chance of paralyzing than Ice Beam has to freeze, but we got the freeze anyway, baby. That is awesome. Perfect. Now I'll use Thunderbolt. That was gorgeous. And it's really nice to have Starmie in a position where uh, he can switch out again. Ah, yes. And the old Psychic should take down a Primate pretty easily. Primate got such a sick evolution in Scarlet and Violet. I know that we've talked about it before, but it was so awesome. Um, Alright. There's Amelia. Perfecto, and that is the final. That That is officially two victories in the Battle Dome. Um, so I think we have to defeat the Battle Dome five times. I think at the end of the fifth time, um, we will see the, uh, the Frontier Brain. But uh, we got a couple. We got a couple to go. Perfect. I would not like this. All right. So, folks, um, that might just about do it for me tonight. Um, oh, our team is looking great, and we got our old friends here, too, just to keep them company. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save because I have anxiety. Um, and thank you for being here tonight. This has been so lovely. I really enjoyed our fight against Greta. That was pretty exciting. Um, we kind of had just a little bit of adversity there, which I liked. Um, got started on the dome and the tower. Hopefully, next episode, I'm thinking we can challenge the dome ace. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. That will be next week, probably Monday, um, on my day off, which is great. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, with that, folks, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful weekend. I will see you when I see you, and thank you, as always, for watching. Peace out, kiddos.